Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, CanCat, on how to create a transparent effect. Now, there are numerous ways we could go about getting a transparent effect where the center of our model is more transparent than the edges. Let's jump in and take a look at just one way that we can do this. Okay, so uh, you can see I have a model here. And we're going to have to create a couple nodes in order to create a simple shading network for this piece of geometry. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is create a material. So I'll just come in and create a simple Lambert. And this will be my uh, transparent effect material. Okay, so let's select our object and right click to apply our material to the selection. Okay, now the other nodes that we're going to need are going to be a ramp. Go to create. 2D textures and pull in a ramp. And we'll also want a node called a sampler info node. So that can be found under create, uh, general utilities, and all the way down here towards the bottom, sampler info. Okay, so basically this node is going to get the information from the camera and then we're going to feed that into the ramp to then determine uh, what areas are going to be transparent and what's aren't. Okay, so uh, we'll get a better look at this uh, here in a second. So with the sampler info node, let's just middle click and drag that onto our ramp and then choose other and that will pull up our connection editor. Okay, so in here we'll choose the facing ratio of the sampler info node to connect into the V coordinate of the ramp. Okay, so just go ahead and close that once we've connected that. And now that this is connected, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and just attach this to the color of our Lambert. And we can see the effect that we're kind of getting here with this ramp. So we have our blue color, the green color, and the red color here on the edge. Now if I open up the ramp itself, we can see by default it's a V ramp, which is why we plugged it into the V coordinates. And we also have the default red, green, and blue colors. Okay, so with this is applied on our model, let's just take a quick render of our model. And we can see the effect that we're getting here with the blue colors here in the center, the green colors, and then the red. Okay, so uh, with the effect that we're going for, we really want this to control the transparency and not really the color. Although, as you can see, we can get some pretty cool effects with the color as well. Okay, so let's uh, save this render. And then we can close out and what we want to do since we'll be controlling a transparency map, we want to make this a black and white ramp. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the green and then the red I'll just go ahead and make black. And then the blue I'll pull down to black and then bring it back up to white. Okay, so this way uh, we'll be using the black and white as our transparency map. Okay, so if we were to render this out now, uh, remember it's still plugged into our color so we can visually see it, uh, but we can see how our black is around the edges here and the white here in the center. So this is compared to before. Okay, so let's go in and connect this to our transparency. So I'll select my Lambert here and just middle click and drag my ramp into the transparency. Okay, and I don't need it connected to the color anymore, so I'll right click and break that connection and we can kind of see the effect that we're getting here here in our little uh, preview of our material but if we go in and render this out uh, we can see the effect as it's coming back here and we're getting very uh, transparent here in the center as well as a little harsher here on the edge although uh, in this particular case it's a little difficult to see since we have a light gray color on our material so let's come into the color and maybe give it a something like a blue, uh, maybe a lighter blue, something like that, so, so that it'll be a little bit easier to see when we render this out. Okay, so uh, we're getting a nice effect here. And what we do have some issues uh, <coughs> actually with the back edge here. So uh, since we don't really want to be able to see that, but the transparency is allowing us to see it, what we can do is select our object and turn off our double sided. Okay, so if I were to save this render and then re-render with the double-sided turned off, 
we can see the difference in the renders. Notice we're not getting the back side of the neck here. And it all kind of depends on what we'll look we're going for for our project. Now in this particular case, I only have one piece of geometry, so it's really fast to go in there and just select it and turn off the double-sided in the attribute editor. And, but if you do have multiple pieces of geometry, what we can do is come into the channel box, open up the render layers, and since I only have one render layer, if we select it and then go to layers and open up the attributes for that render layer, uh, we'll have the ability to set overrides for the entire render layer. So uh, we could turn off the uh, double-sided either way or just let it uh, use whatever the um, options are in our scene. Okay, um, so we have that set up. And what's really nice about this, uh, this method of doing it is if we take a look at the alpha channel, Notice that we get a very nice, clean alpha channel. So we could really go in and tweak this however we may want. Uh, even in post, we could add some effects like some glows, uh, so on. And we can always come in and use the actual ramp to determine how this will affect our transparency. So if we move the black up, what we should see is that the edges will kind of pull in a little bit more. Okay, so let's save this and render out. And as you can see, we have uh, much more defined edges here as opposed to before. So this was uh, before and then after we adjusted the value of the ramp. Now we can continue to tweak this. really depends uh, exactly what the project uh, requires but uh, this is just a quick look at one technique that we could utilize using the sampler info node plugged into a ramp in order to get this effect. Now, if you want to learn some other shading techniques, check out the shaders recipes lessons.